Shrug RMD. This is another IR Basics lecture, and today we're going to be talking about pigtail catheters. All right, so here I have a pigtail catheter, and we're just going to go through all the components of a pigtail catheter. All right, so first off, the kind of the back end of the catheter, this is a lure fitting, and again, so it'll just hook up to a standard syringe. All right, this is the portion of the catheter that is usually hooked up to some tubing and then to a gravity drainage bag. Okay. So this part of the catheter here, this is actually the locking mechanism. All right, we're going to talk about that a little bit. This has this uh, piece of suture here attached. You can actually see that thin suture. This is part of the uh, locking loop for the uh, distal coil, and we're going to get into that. So again, this is the back end of the catheter. As we move forward, we see these markers. These are centimeter markers. These are helpful for knowing how much of the catheter is inside the body. And then finally on the end, we have the loop, the pigtail, as it's also called. And this uh, black portion here, this is actually a rate opaque marker that tells me um, when I'm using fluoroscopy where the coil of the catheter will form. Okay, so you can see that the catheter naturally wants to actually coil up. This is the catheter straightened out. And you can see it, it naturally takes that pigtail formation. So now again, you actually see that uh, suture is there. Okay, so that suture is actually part of an internal uh, suture inside the catheter that locks that loop. Okay. That's actually called a cope loop. So you can see I'm going to pull on this end of the suture. And you can see it's going to lock that uh, loop. All right. So that is basically a fully locked pigtail catheter. You can see it actually is going to deform the catheter a little bit. All right. Once this uh, loop is actually locked, I'm not going to lock it, but when it's locked, this is a very tight uh, formation. All right. This will not really deform. You can see how much pressure it takes to deform this loop. This loop will stay formed inside the body and will actually lock the catheter in position inside and provide drainage. So actually, I forgot to mention something on this catheter. The, um, I'm going to uncoil it a bit here. These are the most important portions of the catheter. You can actually see that there. These are the holes of the catheter, right? the side holes. Right? That is actually what provides functionality for the catheter. And I can show you very easily how this works. Okay, so imagine this... Uh, Water in this cup is a large fluid collection, basically with the catheter in position. Using those side holes, I can basically uh, drain that fluid collection. I can very easily get fluid out of the glass through those side holes. And again, that's the whole goal of the drainage catheter, basically to take fluid inside the body and drain it outside of the body. You know, whether that's an abscess, whether that is a uh, blocked kidney, like a nephrostomy, okay, that's all a catheter is about. So what else comes in the kit with the drainage catheter? Okay, when this comes out on the table, it's going to come with a few components, and we'll go through those. All right, they all go coaxially, meaning they all go kind of in the same plane of the catheter, and I'm going to show that in a second. So the first thing is this uh, metal stiffener. All right, this is a metal stiffener. This goes inside the catheter and allows it to be positioned within the body. It, it provides some stiffness. All right, I'm going to show that in a second. I also have a plastic stiffener, okay? Same deal, except it's uh, less stiff. This is made out of plastic. The other stiffener was made out of metal. And then here I actually have a sharp. This is a coaxial stylet. Okay, this is actually sharp. I hope you can sort of appreciate that there. So this is a sharp um, portion, and this is really only used for a specific uh, use of the catheter. If you're going to be placing this drainage catheter using trocar technique, you know, what is called trocar technique, if you're doing that, then you're going to be using this stylet. And I'm going to show how all these devices go together. So here's that uh, drainage catheter, the back end. This is the metal stiffener. You can see it actually goes right inside the catheter. I'm just going to, just going to work it on here. So this is the drainage catheter attached to the metal stiffener. Okay, Coaxial means it goes right in the same plane of the catheter. So I can actually screw these two together. This is a lure lock here. So now I have the catheter straightened and stiffen, and this is now ready to go into the body, okay? This device, the way it is here, this will now still accept a small, you can see there's a little hole there, okay? That is gonna accept a 038 uh, wire. So if I have a wire coiled within a collection, I can take this catheter, advance it over the wire, and place it into the collection. At a certain point, I'm gonna want the catheter to coil, so I'm actually gonna push off on the stiffener, I'm going to push the catheter right into the collection. All right. I can confirm that with fluoroscopy. I can use CT. I could even, uh, to some degree, use ultrasound to do that, but that's kind of the main goal. Once I know I'm inside the collection, 
I then pull this locking suture, form that pigtail within the collection, and then I lock it and then I'm done. All right, and then I go ahead and attach this to gravity drainage. All right, that's the basic use of this catheter. Um, so I, I mentioned this stylet and the trocar technique, so what's that about? I'll show you how this works. So now again, I have the drainage catheter on the metal stiffener. You can see how nice and straight this is now. Now I'm going to add in coaxially the uh, stylet. So this is that sharp. I'm going to advance it right through. You can see again, this also has a lure lock connector. So now you can see the whole device in place. So now this has a very sharp tip. I don't know if you can, you can see that there on the camera. So this is now ready to be advanced with trocar technique right into a collection. So let's say I have a very superficial collection, uh, anterior abdominal wall collection, and the safest way for me to get it is to use trocar technique. I can basically take this whole device, numb up the skin and everything, and basically just advance it right into the collection. When I'm ready to make the pigtail, I would just tee off, I'll hold both of these components and just push the catheter forward and coil it into that collection. All right. That's trocar technique. All right, that's a very good basic introduction, I think, to drainage catheters and how they're used and how they function. Hope this video was helpful. Srogar MD, thank you for watching. Take care.